Welcome back to another episode of Mairimashita Iruma-kun. Finally. Finally. Evil Iruma. Cool Iruma. Dark Iruma. Edgy Iruma. But apparently the community calls him Irumin. But he's not mean at all. He's actually... When I first saw that at the end of season one finale, um, I thought that... Is he going to be like an arrogant douchebag all of a sudden? Just do a complete 180 in character and personality from what he's been built up throughout like 20, 20 like four episodes or something? Not really. He's different, but he's charismatic, cool, confident, really cool. And in the span of one fucking episode, Irumin has pushed the entire plot of this entire anime compared to one entire fucking season. Which, should I be happy about that? I don't know. But it's pretty, br like someone mentioned this is brilliant writing and I can kind of see how it's coming to play. Like one entire season of them setting up the expectation of what kind of character Iruma is going to be. And then flip it on the head. So cool. Pushes everything forward. Acts like an actual Demon King candidate now. There was a moment when he was, um, the guys that dropped the garbage at our, near our classroom, right? And then Iruma kind of went there and kind of burned it. But he also mentioned something like, um, my territory, right? I was like, oh, he's talking about territory now. And also he's kind of pushing for the misses to be um, just better things for ha for them to have their own ambitions, but also to join the royal one. He's really acting like a leader. He's not just trying to shy away from the spotlight. He's intentionally trying to get into the spotlight. Everything is so good about this. But here's one thing I worry about. They can't have Edomine forever. He's hard carrying the show right now. And if it also happens, Someone also mentioned in the comments, like, the show would be, the series would end too quick, right? He's already speed running the plot right now, which I love to an extent, but you gotta bounce it here and there. They gotta stall, just like how I'm stalling in the intro right now. But I, I hope that it's a reoccurring thing. I hope that it's like, Iruma obviously will go back to his natural form, but I hope that there is a side of him that still comes back, like the cool side. Or it's either gonna be like a, an on or off switch, because I guess it is the evil cycle after all. Then again, Ali was the one that kind of artificially did that for us because we're a human. But anyways, I'm just trying to say, I hope that Irumin is a, a reoccurring theme because this is this is too goddamn cool. Kalego, man. Kalego standing his ground against the kids. Whoa, good job, Kalego. There's a, there a pretty funny moment when Kalego was flexing his magic towards the, to the kids to say, Please, Kalego, I want an actual classroom. The classroom is so cold and hot at times. It's such a poor learning environment. We just want to learn our best thing. Kalego, what does he do? Fucking flexes his golden servers. Silence. And then the other teacher's like, Wow, so cool, Kalego. It's not actually like that, but it's kind of funny if I wore it like that, right? Kalego doesn't want them to go to the royal one because that's where the first demon king ever, no, not ever, the previous demon king apparently attended. Now it's locked away. We also got a name for it. I forgot the demon king's name, but sounds pretty important. We saw a silhouette. I wonder if they're going to see them or not. They're, they're just missing. They just disappeared. Don't know what's going on there, but I'm sure that's an end game plot a long, long ways away. Uh, what are we doing now? We're kind of we're trying to raise the Misfits class to be a bigger clout group. Not really, but none of them have their own ambitions. But it's important for them to have ambitions, and it does feel like they're gonna be like Iruma's execs. Like if Iruma rises to the top, wouldn't he need other people other than just Azaz and Clara? Like maybe it's like a wrong thing to compare, but like the Thirteen, for example, right? They're a big council of dudes. I, if Iruma is ever gonna be some kind of like being like that, I would imagine he would need his own like posse, his like entourage. I mean, we already kind of saw how him walking around during school with like Sabra with the. Uh, we had like Azaz, Jazz, and we had Sabra right behind us and the rest of them. And it was like, we were looking pretty cool. Goddamn. There's a lot of influence that's going on right now between Iruma and everybody else. But, anyways, let's watch today's episode. There he is. <laughs> Silence. Come on, Kaligo. There it is. There it is. Uh-oh. Oh, all... we're stealing Kaligo stuff? Because Jazz is the first one. Like, he, he's going to lead this arc. That's what Inuma said. Okay. And then? Yes, I'm down. Absolutely. Everybody is so shocked. There's... Jazz is in. All right, dude. Show me what you got. What? 
I mean, we know he, that he's your familiar, but... So... True. It's eggy sad. <laughs> See? Come on! Andrew's family bloodline. Pit. Pocket. Pit pocket. No, it's pickpocket, but pit. Okay, cool. The rings clack louder. Wait, oh, they don't clack. Huh? Wait, wait, what? A collar. Serpent thieves. Okay, we're getting more about jazz. This is cool, though. We need more about the misfits. The more value you are, the more beautiful you are. And just briefly take it. What are we going to take from Kaligo, though? Something embarrassing? Kaligo's guard is down. Is it enough? Yeah, we got it, it seems like. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay, bye. You already fell for it, though. Bye. No, no, no. We're getting baited. No, 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 no. You took fun something from me, didn't you? No, no. Your shoot are untied. It's going to be something like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Her. Kaligo's no, she crushes on Kaligo so hard. So we're gonna use this to get what's from her. His hobbies. Oh, really? Maybe someone he likes. Mostly just <laughs> torture Robin. I don't think Kaligo thinks about anything about her, to be honest. Momonoki. You admire more than an instructor. I there's definitely love in the air. Okay, it's just to get a stamp. Come on, give us a stamp, Teach. There it is, easy. All right, we've got the note. Is she gonna return it ever, or is she gonna like keep this forever? Stampy, please. Stamp. Clara's going for a quick one. Come on. Huh? Nani! Claire is just so confused, just like me. What's going on right now? He usually just says some really epic philosophical lines like this. Highest ranking student in academics. The king of feats. This is cool that we're getting to know more about the misfits. He has the highest academics. Huh? <laughs> Stampy stamp, please. Good job, Clara. Sleepless night. Not like that. Don't even know all the teachers' names. Good job, good job. Kamui! Kamui! Oh? What? The demonists are... Wait, what did he just say? Just... True gentleman. Distinguished gentleman. Pink maestro. <laughs> Pink maestro, what? What did he say to him? What did... Oh. Something lewd. I don't know what could have been. This is our resident samurai. This is the sleepy dude. The sleepy dude's really powerful. Though. My area. My area. Wait. Just he's basically earth bending. Good job, Clara. You got a stampy. Three days, right? We have three days. You know what still respects his elders? Even, you know, I thought that maybe he wouldn't after being all cool and edgy. But he's still a good guy. He's still a great guy. Still won't say no. True. I keep forgetting. Whenever people say please or people beg him to do something, he always has to do it. I forgot about that. Holy shit. Wait, <laughs> Solomon, what's, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, what are you going to say this time? Can you? <laughs> he's not a bad... I mean, he is a bad boy, but he's not bad. He's still good. He's still helping his elders. Oh, wait. That's just faking his voice from before. <laughs> and we need Graham stamp too. Easy. Two stamps. Three stamps. Four stamps. Thanks, all of them. <laughs> he has some bad boy pictures too. <laughs> Graham, stand your ground! Aww. Aww! Also, this one's for the man. Oh, Opera is even blushing too. Oh, that was pretty cool though. Oh my. Oh my. Jesus. Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Wait. Is this the guy that Sabro fought in the beginning? 
Is this the instructor we took? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, we did. This is so ridiculous. Okay, we still haven't talked to Ameri though. It's been a... We haven't... No. We haven't interacted with Ameri yet. Whoa. His eyes. Whoa, his eyes. Controller. Opponent senses. Wait, that's a ridiculous power. He can take... He can nullify his sights while seeing through that perspective. That power is insane. No, no, hold up. No, this family power is fucking insane. There has to be some limitations. It's way too broken. I mean, th thank you for coming. You know, it's been a long time. But this is our first interaction with the new Irima too. And remember, her new ambition is to basically make Irima fall in love with her too. More confident than usual, yeah? Or maybe... What? You don't... I want to know your true feelings about it. Is she just gonna like... Totally swayed over this Iruma? I mean, the previous Iruma also did the same thing. I want to see what kind of effect this bad boy one has. The royal one. <laughs> Easy, take it. <laughs> oh, come on, just do it! Because of my ambition. Yo, that's easy. Just say my ambition and she'll, she's done. She's done. I've realized my ambitions, Amity. I thought you were lucky, dude. How do we beat him so easily? Huh? Looks like a landslide. Because he took your senses? There's gotta be more than that. It's like you lost on purpose. Other than her bloodline ability? What does she have? We don't know anything about her. Ex Elizabeth. Full love gauge. Everyone shows her fine. <laughs> that bro. Okay, he is. He's submitting. Please. I humbly apologize for my disgraceful actions. But now it's not? But now it's different? What did he learn? True? You know, I showed him there's different methods of solving things other than power. Whoa! Saburo's so mature! My rival. I still think that Saburo and Azaz are better rivals against each other. But please, give me a stamp, though. <laughs> And this is one hell of an apology. Jesus, you should run a master class on how to do apology videos. Expose the roots of the wings. So this is like the ultimate form of apology, like a dogeza basically, but you know, you can actually see the wings because they're demons. I still think he could he could have beat him into submission. Yeah, right now they just know that how amazing Iruma is. <laughs> the sudden wall bang chair bang. Apparently, it's a tactical strategy that gets the girls' hearts going. If you slam the wall against them, they can't think properly, and whatever you say, they'll kind of go along with it because their heart's beating so fast. Apparently, that's the logic. Where did I learn that from? Kaguya-sama. There it is. Easy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, now when he leaves, let's see her reaction. I don't, yeah, she can't even. She does you know, exactly what I said. Her heart was beating so fast, she was so rushed. Finally, but will Kaligo just accept it that easily? Because Kaligo still has his say at the end, doesn't he? Kaligo. How are we gonna get his stamp? How are we gonna get his stamp? Just change him into Eggy. That's another episode of Iruma kun. We're slowly catching up to season three. We got all the stamps, but now the only stamp that actually matters. Actually, this episode might as well be a filler because none of this shit matters. Unless we get Kaligo stamp, right? What did we learn? Well, no, it did matter because this is more about learning about the misfits because even though we were introduced to the misfits in our entire class, we didn't get much of them in season one other than for like brief um, scenes of them using their magic, but they never explained it, right? So we got Jazz, we got Shax, we got Elizabeth, we got Kamui, we got, uh, got, we got everybody. Sleeper, dude, I, 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 we just got so many people. 
but I'm glad that we're getting to slowly flesh them out more and more. And by doing that, I'll just get more immersed into the show. And I really think that the Misfits, one day, will actually be, like, Iruma's, like, greatest demons. I feel like, that's what they're kind of building this up to, right? A demon king needs his, like, big sex, his, like, right-hand man. Well, I guess it's already as ass, but we need that kind of structure. And we're slowly building towards that. Could regular Iruma do this? Maybe in his own way? Possibly? But it would probably take a lot more, a lot more time. Right now, this bad boy Iruma is just fucking bulldozing through the plot. I love every moment of it. I just have a feeling that once we get to the royal one, it's gonna stop. And Ali's gonna be like, oh, the magic spell wore off. Welcome back, Iruma. And we're back with normal Iruma, which I find it's okay too. It's completely fine. Anyways, if you stick around this long, if you do enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps you to go push my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.